All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, I was actually supposed to start uh, earlier, but I wound up playing a lot of chess. It's surprisingly addicting for me. I, I never thought I would actually get addicted to playing chess. You know, I really should buy the um, the premium. Oh God, what's wrong with this? The premium uh, on chess.com to get the analysis. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, like, so bad at the game. I constantly, I make a couple blunders. Um, I mean, normally when I'm watching someone else play, I can see everything. But when I'm playing, then, like, all of a sudden, it's like, I, I, I tunnel vision. I didn't have this problem before, but, you know, uh, I guess it'll just, it'll just take some practice. <clears throat> but, um, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, well, I also want to keep working on the game, too. I got some good work done yesterday, and hopefully I'll get some t done today. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll see. <clears throat> so, anyway, I want to try and see if I can hurry up today's video. Um, so, Bitcoin searches for this week is... Oh, has not been released yet. Looks like Bitcoin's finally recovered a little. Bitcoin down is at 65.2%. 24 hour volume is still 77.7 billion, so still pretty low. Uh, Bitcoin's at 95.26, uh, Litecoin's at 43.77, and Dogcoin is 308.4 million. I'm actually going to be dumping my Steam, my Hive, and my Compound Coin. Uh, the reason is because Steam and Hive are not really cent uh, decentralized. They can still ban your account, and the returns kind of suck. So I'm like, all right, you know what, I, I don't care. But because by the time that thing is worth like six or twelve bucks or whatever at the height of the boom, I could probably make a lot more money just staking my current proof of stake coins and the new cryptocurrency that Mitch created that I he doesn't want me talking about it yet. <coughs> so plus I'm still been having trouble with sleeping. I just realized that eating strawberries does have a lot of sugar in it too. So I think that's actually screwing up my shit. So I, uh, so I still have one box left. I still have to eat that. And then that's it. Just no more sugar. Uh, not even the natural sugar. So uh, let's see. All right. So um, so everything went down a lot yesterday. Uh, and then today everything's back up by like a, a, a 11 million. So yeah, like things are very volatile. Um yeah, we're almost back to 413. Yeah, so it really looks pretty good. Retail sales rebound sharply in May. Yeah, because uh, a lot of places were reopening during May. Uh, here's another attack on Trump. McDonald pins hope on reopening as global sales fall. What to expect from Fed? Okay, I don't care about the Fed right now. Dow you know, after a potential steroid treat for severely ill corona patient. Ah. I'm not going to read that. I mean, there's always like some potential cure. I mean, there, we've got like tons of people working on it throughout the whole world. So like it really, it does really seem to have the fucking globalists spooked. Uh, more dollar collapse bullshit. The dollar has been collapsing since the uh, beginning of time. And then yet America's still here. House demands coronavirus loan info from Trinidad. Yeah, I mean, aside from that, um, I don't really see anything here. Uh, China Inc. pulls out of U.S. market at fastest pace since 2015. Now, that's kind of unusual. China does not usually dump their stocks in American shit. We're definitely going to read that. <coughs> uh, JMC coins at 7 to 8. So not too bad. Uh, 4.4 coins at 341 to 368. Yeah, I kind of... See, I really should have tucked in my chewables. Now I broke dry. Uh, that's your hydrate things. All right, so four fours at three forty one to three sixty eight. Again, not too bad. Uh, two by two coins at eighty two to eighty four. So also pretty stable. And compound coins actually been doing pretty well recently. Actually, it's been skyrocketing like crazy. Wow. Someone really wants to be buying compound coin. I don't really know why. <clears throat> But it works for me because again I'm just looking to exit. So uh, I let's see. Based on what I'm seeing here, I think my sell order. Ha I let me log in because I cause, yeah my sell order definitely got fulfilled because I think I set it to like 8100 satoshis of a dog coin, which is ironic. Yeah, it got sold, which is ironic because now I'm dumping it just as it's finally going back up after like forever, right? So 
Uh, but the good news is that means I could charge more for my uh, compound coin. So I'm probably going to leave it at like 13,200. I'm still not sure why it's going up. I mean, maybe there's something new. I mean, I guess we could check. Uh, let's see. I, mean, I don't even know if they do announcements here. I I do I am in their uh, I am in their um, June tenth twenty twenty. There doesn't seem to be anything different. It's just more nodes. <coughs> I don't know where this annoying little cough is from. Uh, important news. Uh, the last time he's done something with important news was May 5th, 2020. I was just giving away compound coin in his faucet or burning like a little bit of compound coin. So it's actually really nothing. Okay. So there's actually nothing with this. It's just going up for some reason. All right, fine. That, that, that's even better for me because that means I can acquire more of the Mitch's new coin. Um, it's funny enough. He actually got a different investor to fund there because I'm actually... Like, technically, I could technically afford it, but it's, like, it's causing a lot of damage to, like, I already said, like, I had to, like, because I have multiple accounts, obviously, right? But one that pays all my bills is the checking account. And then when I checked, like, what, two days ago or whatever, it's like, oh, 656 bucks. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I better, um, I better replenish it. So, um, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, it's like, I need to start refunding my shit. So, uh, not refund as in get my money back. Well, yes but like re hyphen fund so uh, yeah but the good news is you know we're building our own little network here you know mitch is a uh, really gung-ho so and i can't talk much more about it so but it's looking pretty good which means i gotta accelerate you know uh, i mean now that i'm addicted to chess maybe it's more like i just program and put hades star in the maintenance mode just like get through the bare minimum which i kind of don't like doing because i really like farming in that game too but yeah all right anyway uh yeah, so, all right, so Capo is skyrocketing for some reason, but I'll, I'm exiting still, so, you know. All right, this is great. That means I'm getting twice the amount of dog coin, which means I'll eventually get kind of twice the amount that I was looking for with this new coin. Uh, top investors, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. Wait, top investors, I've made Bitcoin on track for explosive route. Those are the Winklevoss twins. Yeah, us diehard cryptocurrency people like you and me, yeah, we obviously don't give a shit. You know, we're 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 in it forever. Uh, well, until we dump before the next bubble uh, collapse, complete super spreads. Sorry, uh, JP Morgan. I mean, yeah, more people are getting. Here's the weird thing: Bitcoin whale popping approaching. This doesn't mean anything because it means the people who were already stocking up on crypto back in the last bull run stocking up now it's like the same thing but we still haven't seen uh the normies coming in fact looks like the normies are dropping well but the, this week's data has not been released but i'm not expecting it to be that much different but obviously it could be different you know like maybe we'll go up a little bit but i mean we've already been looking at the daily trade 24 hour volume now it's like eh. oh great i clicked so, oh they're like the 24 hour volume, it's like still pretty pathetic. So the normies aren't doing anything. Hey, how's Trump doing? Yeah, it's still behind 15%, it looks like. Uh, of course, he's got the stupid mask on. Um, he's got something in. Oh, God. All right, I can't, all right that's it. I, it's, I can't stand really that shit. <sighs> Excuse me. So there's uh there's supposedly talk of like Trump's gonna win by a lot and like GOP is telling Trump what he wants to hear to, to a little bit resabotage him on purpose so he'll lose. But there's also reports that Trump just doesn't want to hear anything negative. So what what regardless of what the rumor is, whether it's true or not, when Trump loses this year, it'll be one hundred percent his own fault. <clears throat> Uh, one officer, two other of the internet are killing a face off with Chinese troops. Uh, seems about right. NYPD, there's no criminal. I shake shit. Uh, do three police officers fall ill? Uh, oh yeah, in the past, like, if a cop would buy food from a fast food joint and then you get, the cop gets suck, uh, sick. I remember, it was a story, and then they arrested, like, the McDonald's employee, and it was, like, because there was too much salt in it. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, actually, I'm curious to read this. Uh, drinking milkshakes. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like there was just something unintended, right? I mean, if they deliberately poisoned it, well, yeah, but, I mean, it's Shake Shack. They don't poison shit. It's just... Uh, uh, well, I guess that means I don't have the milkshakes from Shake Shack. I love Shake Shack. That, that shit's so good. That's weird. How do they fall ill from the milkshakes? I mean, it is a lot of sugar, so... Um, Trump's retweeting himself. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Trump's just going like, uh, like this is, this is just horrible. Elaborate scam, blah blah blah. Bitcoin whales rattle crypto and then I was born in potential book. No, nope. uh, educate forecast. Bitcoin burst said, okay, just more. Okay, I do want to read that. The Fed will now start buying bonds. Uh, Bank of Korea officially launches advisory group for central. Uh, Bigger, I feel like I have a article for central bank digital currency. Okay, I don't want to read the whole article because I want to keep today's video short because I really just want to play more chess, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is good. I mean, everyone's just struck. Like, China's going, China's already creating their own China coin. So the rest of the world has to, like, follow suit, right? They're, they're, you don't have a choice anymore. Um, we're just going to write. Yeah, that's a good thumbnail. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's inevitable. It's inevitable, you know. Unlike say, America First by the leader of the Greek Rough Riders. As much as I really want to believe that, I just don't see that happening. Right? I mean, I, I kind of just don't. I mean, demographics are changing. Uh, Trump's going to lose. A lot of right wing people are delusional. It's just like I can't, I can't deal with it anymore. I just can't. Right? You know, because. Cause I don't have any delusions. Like I live in fucking reality. I also understand that there's just it's just no end position, right? It's the Kobayashi Maru, right from Star Trek, the no win scenario. And um, you know, the only way that this that I can even possibly give myself the only way I can break this cycle is to do like actual culture stuff, like James O'Keefe would have said in that NYU speech. When liberals make movies and entertainment, but yeah, I think he just mostly said movies, they concentrate on making a good movie. When conservatives make movies and entertainment, they concentrate on making a good conservative film instead of, you know, a good film. That's, that's always been our problem, especially me. I will not <clears throat> make that mistake, as right? so I would try not to. My first, my first movie was that mistake, but that's because I didn't think it was a mistake. Now, I was, now, but I always felt like, eh, I don't know, it's a little alienating, right? Now I understand. The next one is just going to be more, definitely going to have a concerted effort to be a lot more neutral and fair. I'll still have a center-right, right right-wing bent, of course, right? Because that's how the left does it, right? Make a good neutral film, and then you add in, you know, your little left-wing shit agendas, you know, here and there, right? You know, it's a very delicate process. So I just do the same thing, and then I run my Facebook ads or whatever, target, you know, the youngest I could target is actually 13 years old because that's like the legal age to use the internet or something or use the social media. And then 13 to 45. Uh, I might consider 40, but I mean, at this point, I mean, I think because what I don't want are the boomers. The boomers are the worst people. I Like, the, like they're gone. I don't want them there, right? They're, they're, they're like, I've had, we've, we've been held down by boomer and conventional thinking for so fucking long. They still won't even get into Bitcoin and crypto, at least most of them won't. <clears throat> Which is really annoying. Hmm. All right, so Trump's being stupid as usual. Uh, all right, let's see. The Fed will not start buying individual corporate bonds. Uh, okay. I mean, I think they've done something like this before in the past. Like, there's all sorts of bonds and assets and shit. Like, they're, but the Fed does buy paper all the time. Okay, so they're trying to. Do emergency, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think I remember from like a month or two couple, like in April, right? There was that Colony Capital guy, Tom Barrick, about like the commercial real estate market, uh, paper market's going to like collapse because there's no liquidity. <clears throat> so, yeah. All right, I really need my fucking chewables. This is just ridiculous. <clears throat> mm. All right. So, all right.
stock markets rise. Well, that's good. You know, the Fed's taking action. I mean, they have experience with this before. Because back when the 2008 crisis was happening, the same thing actually happened. I mean, it was a top-down approach, and here it's bottom-up, but it's still the same effect. Hey, we got, um, you know, we have money, but we don't have to pay for do it. You know, kind of weird thing. All right, retail sales jump before a stimulus, so uh, much stronger than expected retail sales there for May, boosting investor confidence and speedy recovery. Blah, blah, from China in the form of one trillion infrastructure package. <clears throat> Along with the hope that the common drug could help treat coronavirus patients also help catalyze the rally. Mm -hmm. All right, so, okay, so it jumped 17.7% in May. Coming in more than dollar consensus, blah, 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 blah. okay. And there's a new steroid called dexamethasone, help reduce the death of patients with severe cases of coronavirus. Hmm, all right. So by the time we get the vaccine, I will actually have plenty of treatments for coronavirus, so that's actually pretty good. So, <clears throat> I didn't get too much sleep again last night, so, but the thing is, I feel mostly fine, so I'm not sure what my fucking body is doing, but it's probably because, you know, it's probably not good, so I don't know, but I feel full of energy, so it's like ridiculous, it's like, I'm like, I'm like Trump, except I'm losing weight. The only moves higher in the equities put stocks into blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Federal Reserve is expanding its stimulus program. Uh, right, we just read that article. I think what we're trying to get away is pretty that they're favoring one cover or one over, or, over another and try to spread everything out, which is what you need to do. Because everyone got affected by the shutdown, so. It's a very distracting picture on the right, and then I noticed that she's actually like one of those like older MILF woman types. Travel and leisure stocks, including Air American Airlines and Winter Cruise Line, okay. Uh, gained in late trading, okay, and I don't want to read the rest of this shit. All right, that's our thumbnail. <clears throat> so China Inc. Is pulling out of Chinese companies are pulling out of the US market at fastest pace since 2015. Huh. Value of buyouts. And here's a um so it looks like it increased in 2020 for the about what? Chinese companies are ditching their US listings at the fastest pace since 2015 as they grapple, all right. The latest is China's biggest online classified firm, 58 com inc. Which on Monday agreed to buy out uh, to a buyout deal led by okay, blah, 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 an investor group backed by Chinese tech type kind po Pony Ma's ten cent owners. Pony Ma, I wonder if he's related to Jack Ma. Oh, okay, this is a completely different person. Huh, okay. Uh, yeah, ten cent just starting. Tencent's basically like the Google and Facebook and Silicon Valley of China at this point. So let's be able to take Batao Holdings Limited, private uh, in a deal of uh, 1.1 billion. So far this year, U.S. listed Chinese kind of announced four go private deals of a combined value of 8.1 billion in debt. Mm -hmm. That's up zero. From say, but, uh, so the highest value of any full year since 2015 when 29.8 billion of such buyouts were announced. <clears throat> the uptick comes as President Trump lays tight security on Chinese companies after sharing of accounting standards, including Lucklin. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so Nasdaq is playing new rules that will make IPOs more difficult for some Chinese firms, potentially curtailing their access to the world's biggest capital market. Hmm. Now, here's what I'm curious about. Nas is Nasdaq actually doing this of their own volition, or is it Trump being uh, pressure, uh, being annoying these people? <clears throat> because normally, normally capital markets don't actually give a shit. That's actually kind of interesting. That's actually kind of interesting. 
Uh, but it is kind of bad though if China just starts buying up all our shit. I mean, even though I'm Chinese, I don't like the foreigners just coming in and buying up our shit because they're loyal to a different country and they're loyal to America. I mean, we already have a lot of grifters and fucking foreign agents, both the Democrat and Republican parties anyway. Like, we don't need to make things worse. Though well, maybe there's nothing we could do about that. The coronavirus has made some U.S. listed Chinese companies look real to the American coin, blah, blah, blah. blah. And we got negative sending on U.S. on old U.S. China. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a problem soon anyway, because obviously Joe Biden's going to win this year. Not the way things are going. Um, because cause what, cause the worst part is things are getting better and Trump's numbers are not going up. So uh, that's a very bad sign. Now, he is going to... When is Trump rally? When is this, When is the fucking rally? <clears throat> Okay. Now, what's interesting is uh, the shitlib fake new terrorist media is actually saying nice things about Trump supporters, but only because it hurt. the narrative is it hurts Trump. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. Featured events. Okay, so my God. All right. So this thing. All right. Um, no. All right. So we've got. June twentieth at seven PM Central Time, so it'd be eight PM America time. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, but let me take private school pro accelerate traction of Chinese been listing in the US looking to go private related to relate to our outlook and weighing the energy to how to maintain US listing status, particularly compliance costs and legal risks. Yeah, not only foreign but there's Sarbanes Oxley, and then of course Trump's president. So I'm sure they're giving Chinese companies a lot of flack and shit because of the you know whole trade war shit. 58.com you eventually seek a listing China after completing the privatization later this year. According to Bloomberg, tell blah blah blah. blah. Which part of prioritizing Chinese companies and their new owners will no doubt be pivoting towards Hong Kong and the mainland if a future relisting is ever on the cards again. Well, that's the other thing, too. As China begins to grow more and more powerful, there's actually less incentive to really put your primary holdings in America because we're, uh, we're basically a nation on the decline, right? Because we're rotting. We're, 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 we are rotting from within. Now, a guy that's super uh, bull on America is Adam Townsend, right? Because, you know, he's an old-timer. But... Here's the here's the difference. Uh, the demographics were, were were different. We're we're fundamentally a different nation, which means we'll have a fundamentally different mindset. All right. The future of America is basically Ilhan Omar and AOC. That is not good. And then of course the Bernie Sanders kooks. So uh, yeah, we're going to be in a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of trouble. All right. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. All right, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. <clears throat> or from my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right. Um, well, yeah, Pop Champs is today, so. So, anyway, I'm done for the day. Uh, I rushed you a lot of stuff because I want to go back to playing chess. Um... So, Joe's rest of your day or night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And um, with that being said, there's not really much to say about the markets. I mean, it's just doing its usual thing. Um, and again, I don't know. Like, uh, Trump will, if Trump does all his normal stuff, uh, he has his rallies and where nothing super crazy major happens, like coronavirus, uh, you know, the riots, you know, more bullshit. Uh, if Trump's numbers still do not go up. Um, yeah, Joe Biden's president. So that's just how it goes. Uh, you could say this is fake news numbers, possibly. You know, like anything, anything can be manipulated, even even something like predicted, right? But I mean, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of problems with the internal polling. Real clear politics polls. Uh, presidential election. Because they have like a million fucking polls. 
<clears throat> I mean, if, like, normally I don't like reading these polls. But if I had to go somewhere, it would just be over here, RPC, RCP, simply because, you know, they aggregate everything. Uh, so pretty much Bi uh, Biden is way ahead in just about a lot of places. Um... I mean, CNN should not be counting, or it just put like a minus 15% penalty. Uh, Emerson, CNBC, I mean, in a lot of cases, Biden is only ahead a little bit. In a couple of cases, Biden's ahead a lot. Okay. Uh, this one's obviously fake. I mean, I know Trump's doing bad, but he's not doing minus 24% bad, all right? It's like you, you're you obviously sampling Democrats there. Trump versus Biden, New Mexico and Michigan. Uh, yeah, that's about right, actually. This actually does seem about right. You know, you maybe subtract 10%. That means Trump is still behind like 4 to 6%. You know, like, uh, I mean, Trump really just... Like his ego, his pride, and his lack of empathy is really killing him here. It was, it was not a pro in 2015, 2016. Now it is a pro because he is the fucking commander in chief. You know he does have the power, and he just does nothing. All right, all he does all day is just spam his fucking Twitter with useless f word retard shit. So <clears throat> everyone's out of work, but he's like law and order and. Oh, the recovery is doing great. It's like people are still fucking unemployed, dumbass. If I were Trump, I mean, I guess he refuses to do the empathy angle. All right, can he at least just say, hey, here's what we're doing to help you find a job after losing your coronavirus uh, shit and from the riots. That would, like, that's like chess. Like, it's like the queen that just attacks, like, six fucking pieces at once, and you just have your pick of the fucking buffet. All right, but Trump can't even fucking do that. Like this, this dumb, this dumb fat fuck. Hey, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, so frustrated. Anyway, back to chess. So, yeah, thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC coin, a 404 coin. Again, uh, markets looks like crypto's doing fine as usual. Uh, obviously, I'm still hoping it'll keep going up, but I mean, ugh. right now everyone's all over the place with their emotions, the fucking economy. So, whatever. Uh, I continue to dump my compound coin and my hive and my steam, though it'll take me five to six months or seven months to dump hive and steam because of the stupid three month rule for uh, getting your money back. So, but yeah, this is pretty nice. You know, I'm going to be getting a lot of dog coins. So, all right, yeah. And, um, you know, actually, this is more about China too. So, you know, cause China's going to be the future. So, but who knows? Maybe this, uh, that, that little thing between them and India might explode in World War III or something. We'll have to see.